Mental health disorders such as depression, anxiety, psychosis, bipolar disorder, substance use, eating disorder are increasingly prevalent. Traditionally, we have been examining mental health disorders through the lens of trauma and genetics. However, there is a new perspective from Dr. Chris Palmer's research that sheds light in a different angle the role of metabolic dysfunction in mental health disorders. Scientific evidence suggests there's a strong link between these mental health disorders and metabolic dysfunction, including obesity, overweight, diabetes, and pre-diabetes. So how are these two areas related? Let's explore the science behind it. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to deep dive into the connection between the mental health disorder and metabolic dysfunction. Before I could go any further, if you have not already done, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified on my weekly content. Without any further ado, let's dive in. A key component of this connection is cellular health and mitochondria. First up, let's talk about the basics of cellular health. Our cells need food and oxygen to function correctly. When this dynamic is disrupted, it can lead to a dysfunction in our metabolism and later it impacts our brain function. Mitochondria, often referred to as a powerhouse of our cell, which you can trace back your memories in your primary school or high school learning about mitochondria, the power of your cell. Yes, that's what we're talking about here. It is a very important and plays a crucial role in the energy production. Think of mitochondria as a tiny power plant inside each cell of our body. The main function of the mitochondria, the power of tiny power plants inside our cell, is to turn the food we eat and the oxygen we breathe into energy for the cells to function. And this energy production is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Just like your cars need fuel to run, our cells need ATP to function. Without ATP, the cells uh, run down of energy, feel tired and cannot function. So coming back to this mitochondrial dysfunction, it is a state where the mitochondria is not able to function properly as it should be functioning. And what this turns out to be is the cells don't get enough energy, ATP, to function properly. Now let's look into what causes the mitochondrial dysfunction. There are several causes. I'm going to list a few of them here. The first one is genetic mutation. Some people inherit a dysfunction in their mitochondria at a gene level. And environmental factors, as epigenetic factors, exposure to toxins and uh, processed food, um, the diet, can damage the mitochondria. And aging, as we age, mitochondrial function uh, wears off naturally. So when mitochondria is not functioning well and cells are not getting enough energy and uh, then that results in many health issues like fatigue, feeling tired all the time, muscle weakness, the muscles don't work as it should be due to lack of energy, brain fog, um, so the brain is in fact impacted and uh, you cannot think clearly, and mental health issues like anxiety, depression, psychosis, eating disorder, etc. Next, uh, let's delve into the epigenetic factors. Um, research has shown that bipolar disorder and schizophrenia are linked to the mitochondrial dysfunction, which is uh, straight away linked to the metabolic function. These are influenced by the epigenetic factor at the mitochondrial level. Trauma significantly impacts the mitochondrial function and the metabolism, which is then affecting the mental health. Initial trauma responses like fear and hypervigilance uh, turns on the sympathetic system and hence disrupting the metabolism in our body. So that leads to a metabolic dysfunction. As a result, there is an increase in blood glucose levels, cortisol levels, adrenaline, inflammation, and that is leading to hypervigilance and hypermetabolism. And there is a research uh, confirming that both animal and human uh, researchers indicate that stress and related changes are uh, disrupting the balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, as well as the hypothalamic pituitary adrenaline axis can speed up the biological aging. This leads to the negative impact on the metabolism and the immune function, increase the risk of metabolic disease in adults, especially those with a history of childhood adversity. In adults, stress is linked to 1.1-fold to 1.4-fold higher risk of obesity, diabetes, and liver disease. Additionally, individuals with stress in adulthood face an even higher risk for mental health disorders like depression and cardiovascular disease. So life stress also worsens the prognosis for the patient with metabolic disease as rating their 
their progression to multimorbidity, frailty, and death. Here's what it gets more interesting. Dr. Palmer's research confirms that ultra-processed diet is linked to metabolic dysfunction, which then is linked to all the mental health disorder, such as depression and anxiety. It confirms that animal studies on ob obesogenic diets show increased obesity, diabetes, depression, anxiety, and ADHD symptoms. According to Dr. Palmer, his uh, data confirms that only 7% of the US citizens are protected from the metabolic dysfunction, which means that the, the metabolic functions are normal. Uh, the rest of the 93% of the population have metabolic dysfunction, hence a uh, raise in the mental health disorder. So the solution provided by Dr. Chris Palmer's research is a ketogenic diet can help to fix the problem of metabolic dysfunction by changing the mitochondrial biology and reducing the inflammation. Dr. Palmer also adds up fasting can also have a similar effect um, uh, to the ketogenic diet uh, by changing the mitochondrial biology and reducing the inflammation. So who is Dr. Chris Palmer? Dr. Chris Palmer is a renowned psychiatrist who has performed researches, extensive research, I should say, on the uh, ketogenic diet's um, impact on the mental health. Dr. Palmer's work have shown that uh, ketogenic diet can reduce the symptoms of conditions like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder by changing the mitochondrial mitochondrial biology. And Dr. Palmer's research also sheds light on the high intake of sugar, increases the oxidative stress in our cells, which it damages the mitochondrial function and it ends up in a metabolic dysfunction. And that is linked to mental health disorders, creating a downward spiral in our health. Dr. Palmer also um, confirms caffeine as um, increasing the oxidative stress by blocking the adenosine receptors. Caffeine in the coffee, taken within the normal limits of uh, two to three cups per day, would be um, more on the beneficial side rather than on a destructive uh, effects on our metabolism. Research since 1985 shows there is an increase in the rates of autism and ADHD. So, um, Looking into this, um, Dr. confirms that from his um, research and extensive other researches, uh, maternal and parental obesity and diabetes increases the risk of um, autism um, due to gene mutations or um, at a mitochondrial level and uh, or, or also the epigenetic factors, expression of genes um, after the birth with environmental factors. And uh, chemicals in the food and pesticides is also a major cause of mitochondrial dysfunction, further increasing the risk. And infections um, infections during pregnancy is also one of the other added causes that can also affect the mitochondrial function and uh, lead to neurodevelopmental disorders. So it's very important to recognize the symptoms of mental health and it's linked to the metabolic dysfunction. So how we can actually protect ourselves and our loved ones from a mental disorder is by following a, a good diet, especially a ketogenic diet, and uh, incorporating some fasting regimens in the life and reducing the screen time, improving the family connections and social connections, and avoiding substances like alcohol, marijuana, and other harmful substances like nicotine um, that is going to affect the mitochondrial function and uh, disrupt our metabolism and lead, that leads to a mental health disorder. There are rising numbers in mental disorder overall in our nation in United Kingdom and overall globally, it uh, boils down to the fact each one of us has the accountability to take care of what we eat and uh, how we actually uh, carry on our lifestyle uh, in a healthy way. What are the habits we choose make, makes us to be bulletproof against mental health disorders by improving the um, um, resilience in our neural pathways um, and also our mitochondrial function that will support our overall well-being. Thanks for watching and staying until the end of this video. And I hope that you like the content. And if you like the content, please hit that like button 
subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notified on my weekly content. And please don't forget to share with your friends and family so that uh, the information of this uh, important message that our mental health disorders are linked to metabolic dysfunction and it is very important to focus on what we eat and also how we carry on our life on a daily basis. Until next time, stay curious and stay healthy. Signing off, Devi Sundar.